In this video, we're going to cover these three topics, experiments, sample spaces, and set operations. In relation to experiments, let's talk about uh, some definitions. You can see several here. An experiment is a situation or an action involving chance uh, that results in some type of outcome. So you're doing something that you don't know the outcome beforehand before you do the experiment and the result that you get is the outcome. A trial is one performance of that experiment. The sample space is a set of all possible outcomes. Now we'll, we'll represent it um, as an S. Remember I, I mentioned before in another video that you could use a U for the universal set. I'll we'll probably use an S sometimes also to re represent the sample space. So whatever possible outcomes you can have from the experiment is the sample space. An elementary event is one single outcome or one possible outcome in that sample space. Now a composite event could be a collection of elementary events and the term event can be used for either. So I'll, I'll just use the term event when I'm talking about events. Could be either an elementary event or a composite event. So let's look at an example that shows some of these, these uh, terminology. Uh, we're going to roll a die one time and see what, what the result is. So a die, of course, we're talking about a six-sided die here. So we're going to roll that die. So the experiment is rolling of that die one time. Now a single try, trial, sorry, is just one throw of that die. And the sample space is remember the sample space is all possible outcomes so we have a six-sided die we can have any of the possible uh, faces on that die so it's one two three four five or six now each any of those elements for instance one just the element one by itself or saying that you're gonna roll a one is an elementary event now we could also have a different event, a composite event. Sp suppose we say we want to roll an even number. Then an even number would be of course 2, 4, or 6 and that would be what we would call a compo composite event. And of course <clears throat> you know we'll, we'll just say use the, the term event for either of those. Now looking back at our set operations we can we can use set operations in terms of our experiments. So remember, in that, or in this case, A and B are events. Um, and of course, what we just looked at a minute ago, events can be sets of items. And so A union B is A or B occurs. So the event A or B is the outcome, or the outcome could be either A or B. Now an intersection, we know we use the term and for that, and that means that our outcome will be either will be one, um, A and B. So when, when the outcome occurs, it will be both A and B. Now the not over the event will mean that that particular event does not occur. And also remember we looked at mutually exclusive events, so if we have or sets. So if A and A intersect B is our null set, then those two sets are mutually exclusive and there's no common element in those two sets. And that means that those two events cannot occur at the same time. So if we have a, a particular outcome, that outcome can't be both A and B. So let's look at an example of those. Uh, we're, again, we're going to roll a die one time, but we're our event A will be the event of even numbers, B will be the event of odd numbers, and C will be the prime numbers. And we're going to be finding A union C, A intersect C, A union B, and A intersect B. Now the first thing you normally will want to do is to figure out what is your sample space. And again, our sample space for rolling a die one time is shown here. <clears throat> excuse me, it's just the numbers 1 through 6, the integer numbers 1 through 6. A is our even number, so it's they're going to be 2, 4, or 6. B is our odd numbers, so 1, 3, 5. 
and C is our prime numbers, so 2, 3, 5. A union C is just going to be the union of those two sets, A and C. And so we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that means that our outcome will be either A or C, either a even number or a prime number. And that set is, represents either being an, an even number or a prime number. The set A intersects C, in this case, is just 2. Now this outcome, there's only one outcome in there, or one even, um, element in there. And that outcome, if that occurs, that outcome is both A or even an even number and a prime number. So of the die faces, that's the only one that can be both an even number and a prime number. Now A union B is, in this case, it's going to be both even numbers and odd numbers, and therefore all of them, 1 through 6. So that means those are the outcomes that will be either an even or odd number. And of course that would be all of them. Now A intersect B is the null set. A particular outcome cannot be both even and odd. So that's what we mean by our, uh, or when we have a mutually exclusive sets is they can't be both even and odd. Let's look at one more example. This example we're rolling two dice and we're going to record the value of each die and in and we're asked to find the sample space. Since we're recording the the value on both die or both dice we're we want to know what each one of them are and therefore they have to be ordered pairs. So we have to know what, what die 1 is and what die 2 is. And I've drawn a, um, a table down here that has on the left hand side the roll, the die 1 roll and all across the top the die 2 roll. And the intersection of those gives us our ordered pair. And as you, you can see we have all of our ordered pairs using those those six numbers and of course we have a total of six times six items or 36 outcomes